All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing a movie called A Man Called Otto. This is a movie that came out this year in 2023. It came out really early around January, and it was an early release, one of those releases that they kind of just toss out right at the beginning of the year, and you kind of know right from that that it's not gonna be a movie that's great or gonna be a movie that you're really going to remember. And it's a movie I just watched. I watched it on a plane, which is probably one of the most forgettable experiences you can give to a movie. If you're gonna put it on that pedestal where you're watching it, you put it on a plane, you're watching it on screen, you're just gonna be not giving it that full percent of attention. You know, that, that's like the designated rule, I feel, with airline cinema, or you are, or you are paying attention because you're locked in. But I think this is one of those perfect movies to just put on because it is very simple, it's very saccharine, it doesn't really do anything new with the genre that's been established. A Man Called Otto is a tragic comedy. It mostly is a drama and it operates in that territory, but it's bending out of its way to be, you know, sweet, have comedic moments, be tender and heartfelt. And in those attempts, it just kind of ends up feeling like a little bit of nothing. It feels like they try to mash together too many themes and end up just coming up with something that you know, feels muddled and it feels like they didn't get the exact attempt they really wanted you to you know, get from the beginning. I think that a big issue with the film is actually the character of Otto and really just the story. I think it's a very long story that never really seems to find a good place to conclude. Also, it has a lot of structural problems and I think those are some of the biggest issues. So let's just talk about the movie as a whole. I think it's watchable, but I think as it gets to its second half, it starts to drag. The movie follows a man named Otto. He's a grumpy old man living in the, his neighborhood. And he, he's the only one who like follows the rules where you have to like, you know, put the recyclables in one bin and the paper in one. And he's so uptight about that, always keeping that orderly. And then we see that, you know, he's always keeping the street block. There's like one road where you can't drive through and he's always, you know, monitoring. He's this annoying guy who no one would really like because he's, you know, pain. But you, you just get to meet him. And I think it starts kind of strong, but it goes about trying to just tell a story in a way that never really comes up as effective. Basically, Otto wants to kill himself and he's trying throughout the movie. And I think, you know, they start, like I said, decently with, you see him just going through the motions and then they go to him like trying to take an attempt on his life. And it actually works in the beginning because they've already shown him go to a hardware store, buy the rope and he's like having these arguments with the employees and you just get his sense of place in the world. So I think it actually starts fine. It's just, as it goes on, it just compiles problem after problem after problem. And it never really seems to get to a place where he's like learning or embracing his neighbors. Like, yes, you do get to that cathartic point where, you know, he's helpful and he does change and he's no longer the grumpy neighbor. But I think it takes so long to get to that point and it's through so much, like just so many hurdles we have to go through. And on top of that, I think that the structural problem is one of the big issues here. I really wish they hadn't forced in these flashbacks. That to me seemed to really take me out of it. You know, if they had just talked about Otto's story somehow, it would have worked, but they keep showing flashbacks. They just keep showing them, piling them on, showing Otto when he was young, when he had a girlfriend and a wife. And it's like almost making you think, well, what's gonna happen? Like what will lead to this tragedy that, you know, why is he so miserable? It just <laughs> takes forever to get there. And it's honestly boring because you have to keep, it takes you out of the story. It's taking you back into the past and then you're back in the present. And I think if it had just cut all of that out, the movie honestly would have been pretty decent. It would have been better. I just think it's trying too hard and in that way it feels very forced. And I think it's noticeable when a movie feels that forced. So that's what I felt about the movie. I thought all the performances were really great. I thought it was very, you know, sharply directed. I thought that it was watchable. It just did not strike me as something that I'm gonna be like, oh, I love that movie. It, it has its, its moments, but that doesn't make it great at the end of the day. It was okay. It was not a movie I'd recommend or would say definitely go see that. There are far better sentimental movies you could watch that, you know, teach you a lesson about life and are also like funny. Like just off the top of my head, Juno comes to mind, which is dealing with teen pregnancy, a completely different topic, but that nails drama and it nails comedy. And it doesn't like feel like it's, I don't know, like erupting with these, uh, just, just all these cliches you've seen before. So that's my take on A Man From Otto. Let me know what you guys think of it if you've seen it, if you have any other similar films you want to recommend it. Thank you for watching.